Now, it is often said that as a society we're suffering from charity fatigue, however worthy the cause. Now, one aid agency has come up with a brand new way of fundraising using video gaming technology. If you can't beat them, join them. The result is Sustainable. And to tell us more, we're joined by Matt Tinkler from Save the Children Australia and game developer Grantly Day. Matt, Grantly, good morning. Nice to see you both. Good morning. And now, Sustainable, I, I can hear the echo of the very well-known online game that this is clearly referencing, but uh, what's the Sustainable. Well, it's a way to um, introduce millennials to the, the idea of donating and what charities are about. And um, so we built a game that, you know, teaches people that what, what the importance of those things are. So Matt, where did the idea come from? Well, uh, Grantley's idea, actually, he approached uh, Save the Children uh, with this concept and he's a, a game developer. Uh, we jumped at it. We are trying to appeal to any audience we can. Uh, the need out there is huge. Think about things like the earthquake in Nepal this year, the cyclone in Vanuatu. Um, if we can target a new audience and educate some kids uh, and, and gamers uh, through that process, it's a win-win for us. And Grantly, how does it work? You obviously download the game. Uh, what do you do as a character in that game? So um, I actually have the, the product right here um, <laughs> so I can show it. Um, yes. the, and the, the concept of the game is to actually build sustainable villages. Yep. And you're presented with a number of challenges that present real aid workers when they come to build villages in these environments, such as, um, you know, you need water, you mm -hmm. need food, you yep. need housing. And the game is designed for you to actually be able to build these uh, sort of structures. And you know you, you have to meet a set of goals as you move through the game, You know as you move through the challenges that are, that are presented. So, and, and you do that by um, donating. I assume you can't just go and buy these things. Uh, so the game is free to play. I yep. mean, the, the, the primary purpose is education. Yep. Um, but, and you can play the game without having to do any other input except for just play. But we do have what's called a donation platform involved in the product. Um, so if you get stuck or you get, yeah, you know, it becomes difficult or you make mistakes, you have the ability to donate to save the children, and that donation gives you in-game rewards. And we're one of the first products that actually do that. So that's another version of an in-app purchase, so to speak, Matt. Well, that's right, um, and it's got the dual purpose of educating people as they're playing, but also allowing them to contribute their their hard earned to a good cause if they choose to do so, and if they want that boost to get through the, the next level of the game. Tracking donations over the last few years, are you seeing your donations dwindle or decline? Uh, look, what we're really seeing is uh, a decline in the other funding environment, and that's funding through government. So yes. aid has suffered the, the largest cuts in the last uh, couple of budgets. So we're down to about 20 cents in every $100 uh, in terms okay. of Australia's economy. Uh, so that means charities are increasingly looking to diversify their revenue through other sources. And for us, that means uh, appealing to the public through new and innovative ways. Matt Grantley, um, it's a really interesting concept. Come back and let us know whether it flies. We will. Whether you actually you. manage to hook in some gamers and, and, and get them focused on, on things other than themselves. Yes. <laughs> when does it go live, by the way? When can it, you? It's actually live today. Okay. Um, so you can download it on the Google Play Store and also download the PC version from our website, sustainable.org.